Welcome to this special edition of Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave Update Series. I'm Pat Hindle. I'm here with my co-host, Gary LaRude, and special guest, Tom Cole, Vice President of Sales and Marketing, and Apet Barsagian, Vice President, Chief Operating Officer at Integra RF Power Devices. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Nice to be back. So first off, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves and your roles at Integra? So I'm Tom Cole. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Integra. And so I've been with the company here coming up on uh, just about four years. And we've been uh, really focusing on uh, growth, especially in the U.S. side. And so that's where I've been spending uh, the majority of my time here with some uh, significant program wins that we've been able to achieve here in the last year. Ed Barsagian, uh, Chief Operating Officer and Vice President of our RF Power uh, Pallets and Amplifier line. Uh, this is my 23rd year of the Integra, and one of the four co-founders of the Integra. So let's start with uh, asking, how has COVID-19 affected Integra and your operations? So thankfully, um, this has been actually a very busy period for the company. So we do a great deal of defense work. And with that, we have an exemption under the critical uh, federal critical industries uh, designation. So Integra has worked uh, through the entire um, shutdown period in California. I'm happy to say we've actually booked uh, some significant contracts here in the last uh, uh, just month alone. And it's been um, you know, a challenging environment to learn how to kind of rebuild and re, uh, rework while keeping everyone safe. But I'm happy to say that you know, our bookings have been strong, our backlog has been constant. And so we're very thankful that uh, the COVID situation hasn't had a negative impact on us as it has on so many companies right now. Given Integra's focus on the uh, radar market, what trends are you seeing and where are the opportunities? Uh, what we see is more need for higher integration level in terms of assembly, such as single and multi-stage assemblies, which we call pallets, basically pallet amplifiers based on Integra transistors. And this is both true for both for radar and avionics applications. Additionally, we see requests for added functionality to simplify GAN-based pallet amplifier uh, functions to add DC bias, gate passing, and sequencing circuitry to simplify uh, implementation on higher level systems. How does Integra differentiate themselves in the market and how do you create value? So on the Integra side, we have a, a very different focus as a private company in where we uh, really aim our resources and our research and development. And while others focus on very large commercial end markets, we tend to focus on the very long-term uh, defense and avionics markets. And we've got some trends right now that really, as a pet was alluding to, that really play into our favor or being able to differentiate through offering uh, complete solutions instead of just a power transistor. So customers can come to Integra, we can design a pallet for them for specific frequencies, specific power levels. And that's another big differentiator with us. We call it our semi-custom approach. Whereas a lot of other larger companies want you to focus strictly on the catalog, we differentiate by offering things that are custom or tailored to a particular customer's application. Would you tell us more about the pallet technology, what goes into a pallet and how it benefits the system designer? Integra has long history of RF pallet design and manufacturing from nearly day one. So Integra was first uh, to put, to implement gate pulsing and uh, sequencing circuitry to our gallium nitride based pallets. We have a rich portfolio of single stage, single transistor, two transistors combined in parallel, four transistors combined in parallel, also a, a double, two stage uh, pallet amplifiers, one driving two as well as one driving four configurations. And again, for GAN based solutions, bias sequencing along with gate pulsing circuitry to ease system level integration is key differentiator for Integra pallets. And how do you see pallet solutions evolving in the market as you look forward? So for us, the, uh, the continued trend is higher power. We see that almost routinely. 
And so the, with the pallet structures and with some of our newest uh, transistor technology, our thermally enhanced skin on silicon carbide, we're able to hit power levels and, and even CW numbers and longer pulse and duty than most of our competition. So while we see that trend here in the immediate space for applications that what really gets us excited is what's coming in the future. And so Integra um, has just entered into a, a contract with a, a US Prime, as well as a Department of Defense partner. And we're going to be uh, really bringing our high voltage 100 and 150 volt GAN on SICK to market in the coming uh, year. The trend that ties in with the pallets is, think of it as engines and chassis. We will have much larger engines and much higher power levels to be able to do uh, power levels that can get up to uh, 8 to 10 kilowatts. And that's based on doing transistors, which can go substantially higher than what we are limited to at 50 volts. So that is where we see the, the market and really the pull coming from. As you all know, every in a power amplifier, every layer of combining that we can take out through a higher single-ended power transistor means ultimately efficiency saved. So we're, uh, we're very excited for what the future holds for pallets, and we're looking forward to being able to enable a lot of new architectures and systems with much smaller form factors for much higher powers in the coming year. So as Tom mentioned, uh, a good portion of our business based on, is based on custom parts. Uh, these are components that we design per our two customer specification. And uh, working with our customers from very early stages of system design to flow down system level requirements to component level uh, to achieve best uh, possible system level performance in most cost effective way is a key differentiator and key to our success, I believe. Continuing this and also once your system is designed and go to production, I'm talking about our customers, is key for our customers that they receive consistent product from Integra, not only from Integra, from all suppliers. So for us, controlling our manufacturing processes and also our test processes, having long-term correlation devices and maintaining this throughout the life of the program is a key helping, is key in helping our customers to meet their own production needs and their own deliveries. That's impressive. Well, Tom and Apit, thank you for joining us today to provide an update on the developments at Integra and also the trends that you're seeing in the market. Thank you for inviting us. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Gary. We appreciate it.